everybody. Welcome to Anna's Pastry Kitchen. Thanks so much for joining me today. So Valentine's Day is coming up and I thought it would be great to make chocolate truffles. Those delicious creamy chocolate balls of deliciousness. Um, they're so good and so rich and so easy. So my favorite kind of recipe. So my favorite kind of chocolate is Calibo chocolate. It is a Belgian semi-sweet chocolate. You can buy this in specialty stores or online. I highly recommend it. It's just a really high quality chocolate. So I have a block of it here. I'm chopping it up like this and I will measure out eight ounces into my bowl here, which is sitting on my scale. Um, so we'll get eight ounces of chocolate. And then I am heating up some heavy cream on the stove top just to a simmer. As soon as it simmers, I'll turn it off. We don't want it to boil because it forms that skin. Um, just to simmer, then we'll add the chocolate, stir it together, add like a tablespoon of butter. And then here's the good part. I love adding a little bit of liqueur. So today I'm gonna use Chambord raspberry liqueur. Raspberry and chocolate, one of my favorite combinations perfect for Valentine's Day. So stay tuned. I'll be back shortly and I'll show you how I stir it in to the cream and then we'll go from there. Okay, I'm back. So our heavy cream has simmered. I turned it off. Now I'm ready to pour it on our eight ounces of shaved chocolate. By the way, the chocolate pieces should be pretty small. You don't want large chunks. They need to be small so that they can melt with the cream. Also, I just want to say um, do not recommend skimping on the heavy cream. In other words, I wouldn't use half and half um, or regular milk. I think you definitely need this heavy cream. I'm actually also going to add one tablespoon of butter. It'll just make it that much better. After we stir this together um, and the chocolate has melted, I'll add some of the Chambord and then we'll go ahead and chill it in the refrigerator for I'm gonna say about two hours until it firms up. You don't want it hard because we wanna scoop it out with this fun little toy, my small scooper, and roll them into balls and then we'll uh, also toss them around in some cocoa and they'll be handcrafted, lovely, delicious, chocolate and raspberry. We'll be so ready for Valentine's Day. So don't go away, we'll be back in just, just a few. Okay, I'm back. Um, our chocolate has melted, so we have a very creamy, smooth mixture here of chocolate and heavy cream. I actually had to throw it on top of the double boiler for a minute or two to really make sure all that chocolate was melted. A couple tips about chocolate. Um, you don't want any drips of water to get in this. It can tend to make it seize up. That's not good. Um, occasionally your cream and chocolate mixture will break, which means the oil separates and you can kind of tell it looks very oily and, and sort of separated. You can add more cream and stir that in and that should pull it together. So a couple little tips about chocolate. I'm going to take, um, this mixture and cover it and refrigerate it for a couple hours and then we'll come back and, um, make little balls and roll them in cocoa. We're almost there and I'm not going to forget to add the Chambord. All right, don't go away. Well, hey everybody, welcome back. So I chilled our chocolate uh, for about two hours um, and now I'm gonna use my handy little scoop. Um, you don't wanna chill this too long because you don't want it to set up too much. I would prefer it be a teeny bit soft than to be too hard because then it's hard to roll. Um, my hands are really clean and hopefully a little bit chilly. You know, they say that pastry chefs should have cold hands. Did you know that? Um, when you're working with dough, um, whether it's, you know, croissant dough or something like this, it really pays to have cool hands. So cool hands, warm heart. That's what I say. All right. I love this little scoop. They'll all be about the same size. And I think I said earlier, I like these to look handcrafted. I don't want them to be too perfect. They are a little soft, but that's okay. And I'm going to roll them in this dark cocoa and they are going on this plate. They should be kept in the fridge, but served at room temperature. So they'll last longer 
if you keep them in the fridge, but they really taste better if you serve them at room temperature. So here's our chocolate truffles for Valentine's Day. I can imagine serving these with fresh raspberries, just a little chocolatey something after dinner with a cup of espresso. Um, lovely, just a little nugget of chocolate. You can't beat it. So thanks for joining me. I hope everyone is doing well and I'll see you next time.